and just wanted to say welcome to my home. Uh, this is Coach JD show. Got Stat Boy on the camera. He's the producer. And uh, come on out here, Ethan. Get a view. Say hello. Hello. We're the ones that's going to be doing this for you. Um, we're going to uh, start off this show. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the musical groups that I like. Um, and from that musical groups, we're also going to go and give you a little tour of my man cave. And after man cave, we're going to go out and look at the greenhouse. And you kind of get a view of some of the projects we've been doing around the neighborhood. Um, hopefully, uh, you'll get a, a feel for, you know, kind of what we have going on around the house and some things like that. So, come on. We're going to go inside and we're going to... Uh, take a look at uh, some of our albums we have hanging on the wall. Well, we're back inside and I uh, wanted to talk to you about some of the music that uh, I love and it plays an impact on me because it just helps me relax. Uh, music is uh, something I've always fallen back on to um, refresh my mind, to uh, I, I like older music. I don't really relate too well to the new music that's going on now. Um, I do like some of it, but if you listen to a lot of the new music, it all sounds the same. It sounds like it's coming out of a, a drum, a computer program, and it's just repetitive over and over again. And it's just, it, it, it's really not as good as it could be. And, you know, but. My favorite all-time group is uh, Rush. Um, Love Rush. Um, moving Pictures album I have on the wall. Um, Ethan, can you get a picture of that moving the moving pictures? The Rush up there. You got it. All right. Um, it's got Tom Sawyer, um, YYZ, just a lot of great. Um, a lot of great uh, songs that I really enjoy. Um, also, uh, David Bowie. Love David Bowie. Um, I have a couple David Bowie albums up there. Um, the Cars. Um, I love The Cars. Rick Ocasek. Uh, you know, David Bowie, Rick Ocasek passed away here over the last couple years. Um, also, Radiohead. I have a Radiohead collection. Uh, it was real hard to get those records, um, but I do enjoy it. Listen to some Radiohead. Um, it helped me get through uh, the 2000s. Like really, I did a lot of listening uh, when I was out in California. Radiohead. Um, the new group that I like the most, that the music really hits me hard and hits my soul, uh, Incubus. Um, I've got three Incubus albums. Um, they are different, but punk, rock, really different music. Uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Linkin Park. Linkin Park's probably got my favorite song of all time, um, Numb, and it's pretty cool. Ethan, hand me, hand me that thing up there, that record that Maddie gave me. The little record thing right there with Maddie's picture. My daughter... She gave me this for my birthday, or actually for Father's Day, and it's got a little thing right here for Spotify that if you scan it, it'll tell to Spotify and it'll play Numb by Linkin Park, I thought, and then it's got Numb by Linkin Park on here, and she gave me that, and I, you know, that's just, I never knew it did that, that you could give a gift like that, and it'd have a, you just scan that code and it'll play that song. Um, so, uh, I really like the Beatles. I have Beatles on my wall up here. Um, Kansas, Oasis, Corn, uh, Tool, uh, just all that music is just, you know, I, I go from a wide spectrum of the music I like and I'll even listen to some country I, you know I like Luke Bryan I like uh, Blake Shelton I like 
uh, Mark Chestnut, Tracy Lawrence, uh, that older, older country music, and you know, uh, you know my Spotify account. Um, uh, they do it does a real good job of giving my daily mix of the songs I like and I listen to Spotify every day um, it is well worth getting the Spotify plus um, you know we were outside um, gave you a little tour I just showed you some of uh, the records we have um, I'm gonna give you a little tour of my room and we're gonna go outside and check out the greenhouse and I want to do a video for you explaining to you um, if you were interested in how I did my Harbor Freight greenhouse and the supports I used and all the materials I used for it um, I know there's some out there uh, but man it was easy easy to put up uh, I came across very few problems and putting that up um, Oh, there it goes. Life 360, the wife's home, and the dogs go crazy every time they hear that. Da -da -da. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight greenhouse that I built. And I've got a above ground garden bed inside that's got uh, some cucumbers, turnips spinach squash some winter squash I mean summer squash and then corn um, over here I've got a couple little things going on we got some fern plants uh, dog got a hold of my uh, zucchini so hopefully it'll grow back um, I've got some cherry tomato plant that's really growing well and some bell peppers and then I've got these tomato plants that I grew from seed that are coming along real well and I got some onions um, I have a fan that I put in here when it, to cool it down when it needs to um, it has four vents and they're closed right now um, I've got the heater going it was at about 55 degrees in here earlier and I've got the heater going and it's got it up to about 70 degrees at the moment it works real well when you can make this it works real well when you can make it where um, it stays at a warm temperature and the plants really flourish with the temperature being warm so that's why we got the heater on and um, I wet these rocks down because it'll keep the humidity it keeps the humidity going as well so let's adventure out here and I'll get a better look we'll close these doors and we'll get a better look at the greenhouse and I'll do a different video one day about the structural framework of how I did this um, but if you look it's a really nice greenhouse it's secure and it's growing good vegetables for us I got a storage shed from H&H um, we have some above ground um, beds. They got some broccoli growing, some snow peas. Um, we had some uh, turnips and uh, radishes that I've already eaten in that section. But we got some nice cabbage heads coming up. And we have this nice butter crunch lettuce and some real nice carrots there in the middle and some celery that's just now starting to bloom and come up over here um, we got some romaine lettuce and some spinach also but look how beautiful and nice these cabbage heads are turning in turning out and it looks like my dog son got in here and uh, knocked out one of my lettuce heads but um, had a, a guy came in and built this fence for me just a beautiful job on this fence uh, and uh, we had about 22 trees chopped down on our house and 
it's nice not having any leaves. Uh, swimming pool was nice. We had it for about two months before we closed it up for the winter. But uh, had this deck built, and uh, it's a nice place to hang out. Um, all right, so here's another one of the projects we've been working on, and it is our front yard. Um, we're trying, I went and put some uh, grass down. We did winter grass, and our grass in our yard is super green. As you can tell, it's nighttime, and uh, there are some patches where there were some trees that previously that were still trying to grow some grass, but look how dark that grass is, and everybody else's yard doesn't have that, that green to it. And then over here, just really, really bright green. Uh, the rain has made it grow up. We actually need to cut the grass. It's about four or five inches high. And uh, yeah, so, but uh, see how nice that fence is. Comes all the way out to the end. We're looking to uh, close in that backyard with all that. Ethan, go cut that light on. Let's cut that string of lights on. And then we got our Christmas lights up and we got a really nice icicle light. Um, it's to the right, Ethan, where that welcome sign is. You see it? Whoa! Find out sweet. Man, check that out. Looks really good. But, and just wanted to say, welcome to my home. <laughs>